Hey guys, it's Ben from One Up Creative, and today I'm gonna show you kind of like a tutorial type way, or whatever, to show you how to, you know, take apart a Apple Cinema display. The reason why I'm doing this is because I couldn't really find a, a legitimately well way to take one apart, but that's what I'm gonna show you today because. Jared ended up frying one of them, if you see, in the alternative su power supply video. Um, so, he gave me two of them. One is with his brother, but the two, one works, one just needs a new motherboard, which I want to figure out how to take it apart, which is what I'm going to show you today. So, first of all is the um, monitor here. That's what you need first. <laughs> so, next, you'll need, uh, I don't know exactly what size this is. I guess that's 7 by 84 hex key or Allen wrench, whatever anybody else calls them. And next I will show you how to get the hinge off with this Allen key. All right, I'm, I got the monitor right there, and you will see there are two screw, biggish screws there on the uh, hinge, which take this Allen key or hex key to uh, you know take off. I already got them some of them somewhat unscrewed because then I decided to do a video on that. So there's that one, and they might be a little hard to do, but if you get the end, just kind of keep doing it. There we go. And there. And now, take it off, you just kind of pop out like that. And, well, I got crap, that didn't work very well. I got all the wires wrapped around here. Let's take that off there. Quick. There we go. And there's the base. You got the base off, you can see what's in there. Kind of the screw, uh, screws go in and then the kind of a uh, springy, sh springish type thing, which helps this stable itself when it's, so it doesn't go like completely down by its own weight. I started a little bit just to make sure something wouldn't happen. But uh, next, you need to take off the side plates and you got to be careful because they are plastic and they are um, on there I mean on there they're, there's there's they're on there by like a super sticky type of substance <laughs> adhesive maybe and uh, I advise you to use a hot air gun or a air dryer which I've been using and it has been helping but once you get it open just a little bit, you might want to blow inside there too and then try to pry. Get like a really skinny uh, flathead screwdriver kind of like that. Or if you guys can see it, I have no clue where that's focused at. But yeah. And um, kind of like pry in there. Like that. A little bit. Then heat up. pretty much how you do it and uh, be careful not to crack this it's like really don't it's very easy to do so uh, I'm gonna show you guys my method I got the one side off so I decided to get the side without the button on there first off there and then um, then I'll do the one with the button but I'll do you I'll show you my um, the method I get the same Allen key I kind of did that I took the base off with. Um, Why well pry either one side or either the top or bottom, which is the best way to do it. Um, you can't go like side or you, you know, crack it. Um, this is the easiest way. 
So you pry one top part up, then um, well first you heat it, and you uh, pry it up, and then get your Allen key under it and kind of make it kind of like horizontally with it, vertical through it, and kind of slide through. Then since that's open now through there, it'll be easy, even easier to take off because it's going to be easier to heat up by heating it up and then the heat will go through there into the adhesive and help warm it up and get it loose. And you can just, uh, you know, like slide this through when it pops up, get it to the farthest it can go, and then heat it more, get the farthest it can go, heat it more, and then pop off. But what I have to tell you about this side, you have to be careful because what I've heard is that this has wires running through here because of these buttons, I guess. Maybe it's different, uh, maybe it'll come right straight from the thing inside to this, but maybe it is running now. But I don't see any yet, so when I do, and I get this off, I'll let you know how to do it correctly without breaking a wire or anything. I got this off, but it's easier. I noticed it's like a ribbon type of touch thing, which is really easy also because this is a removable wire, so well depending on what, what uh, you know display this is. This is a A1082, and this is becoming very very easy actually. I kind of expect this to be even worse. No, it's pretty good. And there, there's your thing, and that's good. Now what you gotta do is uh, there's four screws on each side, and uh, it's a Phillips head screwdriver, not too small, not too big, and they're pretty much slow screws. Um, when you put those sides, I, I'm just talking while I do this. While you put those uh, sides back on after you're putting your display back together, um, the same exact way you took it apart, um, this adhesive is still pretty sticky. That'll probably stick on pretty well. Unless if you want to use maybe, like if you know you're going to make sure this doesn't fry or break ever again, Gorilla Glue or maybe a little adhesive tape strips like really really thin stuff that'll work like really well or what I'm gonna do is just heat the stuff up put it plant it down let it cool and help it come off now what I think this would do well let me get my flat head screwdriver tip back on so I can uh, get under there this should just come off kind of like a door, <laughs> like hinge off, because there's like hooks there. They hinge off like that. And there, oh, that's exposed. And there's that one. And make sure you know which ones go with which, which siding. So I'd mark with that going through that side. This goes through this side with the buttons. So I would put that together with right there. And then, um, now you do the other side. Get, there's hairs all over this already. It did not take long. Oh, I need my other tip. Um, I've had times where stuff was super hard to take apart. I, like, I don't know how it was put together. Like, at first I was thinking this is going to be super hard because I see no screws. Oh, they're screws. They're just all hidden. And you got to do some work to get to them, but not too much work. It's pretty easy work. And then pry it up just like that. That goes with the regular one. And there you go. Now you got that plate, you know, nice and exposed. <laughs> anyway, 
Now what this should do by the looks of it. That doesn't come apart right there, does it? No, it doesn't. This almost looks like it's hinged. Or something. It almost does, like right there, in there. It almost looks like it could slide out of there if you wanted it to. Like seriously, everything will just like whoosh, out. But probably not because I got this big giant wire there. Apparently I was right. If you look at the monitor and you have the bottom mo part of the monitor, you go to the bottom and in there is a little like finger thing I guess, hinged looking thing. You pull that out. Not all the way, it just pulls out to a certain spot, maybe about five millimeters. You'd say pull that out by about five millimeters. It might not feel like you're moving it, but it is moving. Well, mine's hard to move. Oh no, it's moving. I'd rather use the screwdriver and pry her up a little bit. Come on. Well, maybe she is. Oh, I had her moved. Never mind. Yeah, now you go to the other side and do the same exact thing on that one. And that is supposed to disengage the. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Boom. The latches. Just take that. There you go. That's nice. All right. Well, if I want to do, you got everything loose pretty much. Careful not to scratch, you know, your screen and everything. And you put it completely upside down like that. Yeah. This it would be easier to do with an assistant. Somebody helping you out, you know. But anyway, you open it up. And it can open. Well, oh, oh crap! Yeah, you got to remember about the uh, little LED cable here. They're held together by a piece of tape. <laughs> right there. Boom. All right, that's good. Take that back down. This could be opened up just a little bit. Now you can do and move the whole entire inner assembly <laughs> like that until the middle. Hold this open. This would be the assistant's turn, you know. Somebody else helping you. Uh, hold this open. Be careful not to bend it. Oh, somebody pulls that out. And remember, there's a giant cable that has to go through a hole, so careful about that. I got you guys up on handheld now and this is what it looks like. I've, I've mostly gotten here for the uh, motherboard. That's probably the farthest I will go to show you how to assemble this thing. You can pretty much go by your own to get to wherever you need to now. It looks pretty easy. Got mostly screws and stuff around here and other board. I don't really know what that is. That's probably the backlight board. So this over here is your main logic board. I could see where that was located. There's a giant black spot inside the case where it probably overheated and bam, blew when Jared overpowered it with the power supply. And yes, that was kind of the trip. <laughs> Not really, that was actually pretty easy. Not as long as I thought it was going to take. Um, that's actually not too hard to get this out of the casing just by yourself. It's actually pretty easily, easy to do. So, yeah. That was pretty good. Alright, the same exact way to put back together. Just, I guess, watch my video in reverse. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
same exact way to put it back together. I mean, it's pretty easy. Pretty straightforward, I guess. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.